Hey there, spider owners. Brandon here with Slingmods.com, and today we have our three-piece touring luggage set for the Canon Spider F3 and F3S. As you know, Can-Am offers several different spider models to choose from, like the F3S, F3 Limited, and RT Limited, just to name a few. Now the F3 Limited and RT Limited are really the ultimate in touring bikes since they offer a substantial amount of onboard storage with their rear saddlebags and rear trunk. But on the F3 F3S models, well, not so much. You get a frunk, but that's about it. So what if we could take the much less expensive F3 F3S models from this to this? Well, we can and we did. We partnered up with our friends over at Spider Extras to bring you guys a three-piece luggage solution for the Canon Spider F3 and F3S models. This kit includes matching left and right side saddlebags that are lockable, removable, and feature an interior retention strap to hold all your stuff in place. The internal volume of each saddlebag is 23 liters. You'll also get a rear top case that features a padded passenger backrest that is also lockable and removable and features an interior retention strap to store a nice amount of stuff for that next road trip. The internal volume of the top case is a whopping 47 liters. Now we know that storage is important when traveling, but so is safety. So this kit also features integrated running lights, brake lights, and turn signals so that your F3 has a much higher chance of being seen by other motorists when out on the open road. And the best part about this mod is that it's easy to install. This system is 100% bolt-on and 100% plug-and-play for straightforward installation. Now let's get started with the install. Start by pushing down on the key and turning it counterclockwise to remove the back seat cushion and then remove the key from the ignition. Then unplug both the left and right side connectors from your taillights. Then take the new OE style harness and plug one end into the left hand side taillight plugs and then the other end into the right hand side taillight plugs. Next, unscrew and remove the back right hand side screw and washer from your grab handle. Insert the spacer from the kit and hold it in place while you slide the rear trunk rack over top of it and secure it in place with a new washer and screw from the kit, leaving it finger tight for now. Then you can unscrew and remove the front screw and washer, insert the spacer, slide the trunk rack over top, and secure it in place with the new washer and screw, but don't tighten it down just yet, since we'll be tightening everything down at the end. And then do the same thing for the other side. Remove the back washer and screw, insert the spacer, and secure it in place with the new washer and screw, finger tight for now. And again for the front, remove the washer and screw, insert the spacer, slide the rack over top, and secure it in place with the new washer and screw, but don't tighten it down just yet. Now remove the back washer and screw from that same side. Slide the washer and screw through the saddle bag bracket, and then back through the trunk rack and into the bike, but don't tighten it down just yet. Then remove the front washer and screw, slide it through the other hole on the saddlebag bracket, then into the trunk rack and into the bike, but don't tighten it down just yet. And then do the same thing for the other side. Now take the smaller washer and bolt from the kit and insert it into the middle hole on both the saddlebag and trunk rack and top it off with a washer and nut on both sides of the bike.
tightening those down so that they're nice and snug, making sure not to over tighten. And now you can go back through and tighten down the rest of your hardware, making sure not to over tighten. Next, you can run the saddlebag harness down the sides of the bike and along the saddlebag brackets. Now you can attach your luggage to the bike so that we can continue running and securing the wiring harness. Starting with plugging in the left and right hand side wiring of the trunk bag. Followed by the saddle bags. Now zip tie the harness to the bracket so that it's up and out of the way of any non moving parts. And then finally, you can reattach the passenger seat. Now when the bags are installed and in the locked position, they're also locked to the rack to prevent theft. And then each bag can be removed independently from its corresponding rack when in the unlocked position, but will require you to manually disconnect the wiring harness from each bag. And there you have it folks, once installed, you can see that our three-piece luggage system looks right at home on the F3, adding to both form and function. Now, if you're looking for a lockable, removable luggage solution with LED running brake and turn signal illumination with room for a passenger and all their gear, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I can keep you up to date with everything spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.